Hello everyone. Today I will explain you the next topic that is forest resources. In last topic I had explained you about the introduction to the natural resources, types of natural resources and all about the land resources. So in today's lecture I will tell you about the forest resources in detail. Now first of all try to understand what what does this forest means. So this forest word originated from the French word that is forest. French word forest. Forest means outside. Outside the village, outside the human community or the area that is outside the human settlement. That is, that generally means out forest. Technically, how we can define this forest? The forest is a biotic community. Biotic community means where different type of living organisms live together with each other by interacting in one or other ways. So that is the biotic community. So a forest is a biotic community which is predominantly composed of woody trees, shrubs, herbs and wild animals. That is a forest. Here you should remember one thing that forest, every Wild area is not a forest. For the forest, the area should be covered and the canopy area. Canopy area means the upper surface area, upper view of the forest. That is the, known as the canopy of the forest. So that should be more than 10%. Means that out of the total land area, 10% of the canopy covered the land surface. More than this, that is the forest. So here the world forest is about 40 million kilometer square. 40 million kilometer square means near about 31% of the total land area. Remember this 31% of the total land area that is 40 million kilometer square is covered by forest resources and in this the country which have largest forest cover that is the Russia. The forest cover of Russia is about 49%. Now the largest forest known forest that is on the earth is Amazon forest. It is a evergreen tropical rainforest. So this is the all about the world forest general introduction. Now some facts about India. So in India, the forest cover is about 24.56%. So less than 25% is covered by the forest. So this is as per the data of December 2019. Now the highest forest cover percentage wise. So Mizoram state has highest forest cover. That is about 85 percent. Land area wise Madhya Pradesh is the largest forest cover according to the area fraction but according to percent Mizoram has highest forest cover. Now in this you should know what are the types of the forest. So as per different books, as per Google, as per different documents Forest may be of different types, may be up to 16 different categories, but according to FAO, FAO means Food and Agriculture Organization. According to FAO, we can classify broadly forest into four different categories, four different categories. Remember this. So in this first is tropical forests. Now you should know what are tropical forests. Or why we have divided forest into four different categories. So this is according to the geographical location and the climatic environmental conditions. So try to understand with the help of this figure I will explain you what are tropical forest. Second is subtropical forest. Third category temperate forests. And fourth is boreal or taiga forest. So remember this. How many type of forest are there? Four types. Tropical, subtropical, temperate and taiga. 
Now tropical forests are found that is 23.5 degree north and south means this is equator ये equator है आपका zero degree equator से 23 degree north में चले जाए 23.5 degree south में चले जाए then this region is known as tropical region clear this region is known as tropical region and the forest found here is tropical forest here temperature is the average temperature of this region is about 27 degree and the rainfall is maximum that is more than 2000 millimeters so these are the characteristics environmental features for this region and the forest here is tropical forest we can again classify this into two different categories tropical evergreen forest and tropical deciduous forest tropical evergreen forest means the forest which are evergreen throughout the year due to high high rainfall and tropical deciduous forest means deciduous means the forest which shed their leaves at least once in a year that is tropical deciduous forest second category of forest is the subtropical forest here subtropical forest means the forest which is found from 24 degree to 40 degree latitude this this in north and southern hemisphere northern and southern hemisphere so here the forest which we found is the 24 to 40 degree north and south so that is the subtropical forest here temperature is 17 to 29 degree throughout the year and rainfall is less than tropical region that is 1000 millimeters to 2000 millimeters remember this here rainfall is 1000 millimeters to 2000 millimeters third category of forest is the temperate forests temperate forest means the forest which found 40 to 54 degree north and south here 40 to 55 degree this region here this is temperate region and the forest found here is temperate forest so the temperature in this region is minus 30 remember this minus 32 plus 30 means winters are very harsh and here in temperate forest temperature ranges from minus 30 degree to plus 30 degree means winters are very harsh and summers are very cold so the and the rainfall is here 750 millimeters to 1500 millimeters here the forest generally are of deciduous type deciduous type means which shed their leaves once in a year Forests generally shed their leaves due to the difference, very high difference in the temperature. If the, this variation is very low, then the forests are of evergreen type. You know? But if this temperature range is very high, as we can observe here, so the here, here the forest type is tropical, temperate, deciduous type generally. Now the fourth category of forest, that is boreal forest or taiga forest. Boreal forest or taiga forests are found at a latitude of 55 to 70 degree. This region, this region, 55 to 70 degree. Here the forest type of taiga or boreal. And the trees are of coniferous type, alpine trees. Here the rainfall is in the form of precipitation due to very low temperature throughout the year and the precipitation is about 1000 millimeters so this is all about the types of forests now let us discuss the important part of the forest resources that is the use of forest so we can say that use of forest or role of forest or the importance of forest resources so we can divide this into three different 
parts major categories so first is the productive function productive function of the forest second is the protective function of the forest and third one is the regulative function of the forest so pro productive function means here we are getting that is directly from the forest resources in the form of food fruits seeds flowers wood and timber fuel that is leaves simply dry leaves from the forest and most important feature is the oxygen in daily life all of us use oxygen that is the product of forest resources so in the same way we get different products different services from the forest nuts food seed wood timber wood for furniture wood for paper hai na so this is all about the productive functions of the forest simple second is the in this second part is protective function we can also say that productive service or productive function as a direct role of forest this is the direct role of forest and this second and third one this is the indirect role of the forest means that forests are not gi giving anything to us but indirectly they play a very important role in the ecosystem in the environment to maintain the environmental quality so let us discuss the protective protective means forest protect different segments different wildlife species protect wildlife the wildlife that is present on the earth that is only due to the forest second is the maintain soil moisture where there is forest the moisture content in soil is comparatively high control floods the forest plays an important role in the in controlling flood so we will discuss about the floods in different topic what are floods what are its types what are its causes third is fourth is control air pollution all of us know that for forest protect or improve the quality of the air control air pollution next is forest protect soil from soil erosion so these are some features or under protective services of the forest third is the regulative functions or the regulative services of the forest means that forest regulate different processes different cycles in ecosystem in environment so let us have an example first is forest regulates the climate climate means local temperature regulate water cycle regulate humidity regulate temperature regulate wind speed so all these are regulative functions in the same way forests play an important role in the regulation of underground water table where there is a forest the underground water table is very healthy okay so this is all about the forest resources and their services now in forest resources let us discuss the issues which are related to the forest so one of the most important issue that is related to for directly related to forest resources is deforestation so here how we can define deforestation deforestation means permanent cleaning clearing or the loss of forest cover that is simply deforestation and for deforestation we have so many causes so the main causes which leads to deforestation are first is population growth so as the population is increasing forests are decreasing proportionally because land is required for construction purpose housing purpose and other human settlements so this is also the cause of deforestation second is industrialization the so industrialization may be directly clearing of the land for the industrial purpose or 
for the raw material for the industry for example for paper industry wood is required for furniture industry wood is required so industrialization is also the cause of deforestation third is shifting cultivation shifting cultivation means suppose this year we cultivate this much land area and for next year we cultivate suppose additionally this much area also so this is the shifting cultivation means we are using different forest patches for the cultivation including main agricultural land that is the shifting cultivation fourth cause for the for deforestation is overgrazing overgrazing means the grazing up of small seedlings small plants by the herbivores so that is also the cause of deforestation next is forest fire the forest fires may be natural or may be man made so we will discuss this part forest fire later on in other some other lecture how forest fire leads to deforestation so this is also the cause next is the development projects development project means highway construction airport construction tunneling mining activity such large scale activities comes under developmental projects so all these are the causes main causes for the deforestation mining activity also require large land area and for that first of all we have to deforest that land area so all these are the causes next is the so next is the consequences of deforestation what would be the consequences for that is related to deforestation forest resources and now so first is the soil erosion soil erosion is directly proportional to the vegetation cover more the vegetation cover more the forests the, pro the problem of soil erosion is very less and you know? and this is inversely proportional next consequence is the low rainfall because forest control local climate and due to deforestation there would be low rainfall in the region next is the main consequence that is global warming as we next is global warming and as we know that global warming is directly related to the climate change why we are saying global warming because forests utilize carbon dioxide large quantity of carbon dioxide in the process of photosynthesis and deforestation leads to the increase in carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere and carbon dioxide is a major greenhouse gas so co2 is responsible for global warming and consequently global warming leads to climate change so deforestation is directly related to climate change also next is lowering water table means that deforestation there is the direct link relationship between underground water table and the deforestation more the forest cover more healthy or healthy would be your water table underground water table next is degradation of air quality so for as we know that forest controls the air quality absorb different type of gases different pollutants settle down the particulate matter that is present in the air so if due to deforestation the air quality will definitely degrade next consequence is the that is very important low so biodiversity as we know that biodiversity provides us different services different medicines different economic products ecotourism world tourism is totally dependent on the biodiversity and low so biodiversity is due to the deforestation so this is all about the deforestation forest resources type of forest and consequences of the deforestation